Owini Dolo and Richard Butera are not new to Uganda's judicial system. Both men have a lot of experience working in and heading different areas of the judiciary. This iconic image of Butera swearing in before Owini Dolo at the Judicial Service Commission earlier perhaps paints an image of the wealth of experience and length both men have in the judiciary. That I will well and truly exercise the functions of member of the Judicial Service Commission in accordance with the Constitution. Both have fought many wars to clear case backlog, increase jurisprudence and make justice available to all. Now, with their new jobs, they will be at the front line. We've seen many constitutional court petitions pending before that court for a very long time, for various reasons. Um, the question of resources, the question of number of judges, uh, the question of complex procedures, or the weaknesses in the Attorney General's chambers to respond to many of these petitions, thereby occasioning delays. For human rights lawyer Nicholas Opio, the immediate focus should be the case backlog at the appellate courts, particularly for the death penalty appeals. We must definitively deal with the question of uh, appeals and constitutional petitions pending in large numbers in the Court of Appeal. In the Supreme Court, we have the question of the death penalty. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of individuals on death row. The law provides that uh, somebody cannot be, uh, sent cannot be executed unless the sentence is confirmed by the highest appellate court. There are soldiers and other individuals in Luzira on death row whose appeals to the Supreme Court have not been heard, either because of a lack of documents, especially for the military courts, or in the case of others, uh, just the inability of the court to be able to fix a session to hear them. So we hope that the Honorable Justice of Winjolo, as the Chief Justice now, will deal with the question of um, backlog in the Supreme Court. The appointments also coincide with the sanctioning of two Ugandan judges for corruption, a vice that former Chief Justice Bat Katurebe fought so hard to eliminate. Katurebe's unfinished business, uh, something he came to the court with gusto and promised to fulfill is the question of corruption in the judiciary. There's no doubt, as we have witnessed in the last couple of days, two judges being sanctioned by a foreign government for corrupt practices. There's no doubt that there is pervasive corruption in the judicial system. And the Chief Justice has a mandate to try and streamline and deal with the question of corruption. There were over 150,000 cases in backlog at the last census, and it remained a key focus point. Lawyers are also calling for focus to be drawn to IT facilities for the electronic hearing of cases. We can make the use of ICT available to as many court users as possible, so that we don't just have a video conferencing facility only at Buganda Road Court so that judges from the High Court go and line up before Buganda Road Chief Magistrates Court to wait for video conferencing facilities. I hope we can address this problem so that every single court in this country has proper ICT equipment and facilities to ease the process of filing of cases. Owini Dolo and Butera will also have to fight for the independence of the judiciary on the days it is attacked. Raymond Mujini, NTV.